Thank you. And good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. All right, Amy, that was that was your icebreaker. I, I'm so glad to get to hear all about you and how you just your past and how you came to be here in America and growing up in Taiwan, which is something very different than a lot of us here. And I can appreciate that and getting to travel to a new country and, you know, starting something new, starting a new life. So some things that I thought you did very well was like Greg had said earlier, your vocal variety is there. It is something that it's, it's one of your strong points. And, you know, you just came out of your speech and walked into the crowd and, you know, you would say your point and you would make it exciting. Like I would get, it would get my attention. So I did really like that. And one thing that I saw you did at the beginning of your speech was that you moved the podium out of the way. So that way, even on Zoom, I could tell that you were immersed in um, Toastmasters and even in us on Zoom, like we could really see all of you, see your hand motions. And I felt like you were really talking to me. I did love your conclusion as well. You brought back in your title of life is like a box of chocolates. So that was something that you kept referencing throughout your speech and you wrapped it up talking about the box of chocolates and how you never know where life is going to take you and you can plan one thing, but life will turn out completely different. Some things that I thought you could improve on was it might've been my Zoom connection because it uh, cut out there for a little bit, but you could have been a bit louder um, I did hear Brody a lot louder, so I think it might have been just maybe the distance from the speaker or something like that. And then other than that, I mean, maybe using your hands more intentionally when you say those exciting points you're talking about and then relax your hands for a little bit or keep them up by your chest. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, you did really well, and I love getting to hear all about you and how you grew up and your parents' expectations of you. And just how you, you know, made things happen with your different jobs and coming to America, getting your degrees. So thank you so much for sharing all about you. You painted a variegated picture of your past and where you came from. Excellent. Thank you, Alexa, for that variegated evaluation of Amy's speech. Next, we will hear from Jackson, who is going to evaluate Brody's speech. Jackson. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, thank you, Zoom land. Brody, speech today. I really resonated with how you wanted to share your story with um, the Million Cups, it's called. Yeah. The way you're trying to connect what you do now into what you've done in your past and how you want to help change the lives of young men uh, is something that spoke to me in a way because men these days, younger men, they are going through a difficult challenge compared to people that kids in the past. And for you, you presented a story in which you related your past with the present, what you're currently doing. You know, like you're saying, Optimus Prime transforming negative negativity into positivity, right? I liked how you. Um, want to transform the lives of kids, um, young people, into something that's positive, like you've done for yourself. You've gone through the story about your rough, a part of your past, like your seizure, and how you went through that, how you came through that with what you do now, what you study, neuroplasticity. And essentially, in the scheme of things, you wanted to connect your hardships then with what you do now by helping in chronic stress. I thought you did very well at uh, the way you presented your speech like you always do. You always get the lectern out of the way. You always move, you always even acknowledge Zoom and you walked up there, looked at looked at the camera, right? <laughs> and you you made sure everybody was listening to what you had to say, because what you have to say is very important. Use hand gestures, you did explain very well with your hands. Now, that's one thing I found 
find very, I don't know if it comes with doctors or whatnot, but you guys do a very good job of pronunciating your words. It comes to medical terms. <laughs> So, we need to say neuroplasticity as well as some of these other seizure related, I don't even know what you call them. But, but he did a very good, very good job of that. And that's what I think impresses the audience too, because when you're able to talk and pronunciate. Um, there are some things that I thought you could maybe work on um, and maybe even include in your speech. Um, you are telling a story, right? Even say it at the beginning, you're trying to tell a story to your audience. And with that, you, with a story, you know it by heart, it feels like. So whenever you kind of did glance at your snow cards, it took away from that real meaning and that kind of that deep hitting um, feeling that people should get from your story. And I, and, I think, and I think it's there, it truly is. I think what happens is those slight pauses kind of break away from that tension that you're trying to build about what happened in your past, bring it up to the present. One thing, um, Maybe with back to your story, I think one way you can really um, build that tension is really connecting your past. Um, maybe even have more, um, bring more emotion into what happened as when you're going through your sneakers, you know, what you're going through at the hospital. Connecting that with the present and why you do what you do. Because if you emphasize how you felt in the past, how that affected you, and you can really bring together what you do today that can really kind of grab your audience a little bit better. Overall, I absolutely loved your speech. I think you'll do very well when you go to uh, Money Cup and present that. It, you have, with a little bit more practice, I think you'll be able to smash that, and people will just love your speech, man. So, great job. Uh, love to hear more about this speech. And you, I would love to come to you in person as well. So, thank you. Right. Thank you, Jackson. Now I'll call on our variegated reports. Can I get a timer's report? Hey. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to 45. Jackson, I'm really impressed that you went over 353. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So one evaluator qualifies, therefore we do not need the poll. So we'll move on to our awe counter, Renita. Renita, tell us how we did today with our awes and ums, filler words. Yeah, thank you, Julie. As we, we know, 